Hi, this is Marv Campbell, and here is my executive summary on the Google Merchandise Store analytics data. The Google Merchandise Store is a store, it's a website that sells Google labeled products from everything such as clothing, hats, t shirts, hoodies, etc., drinkware items, mugs, water bottles, stationary items, plethora of bags, and other types of knickknacks. Uh, the main purpose of their site is to get customers to place items in their shopping cart and to purchase those products. To understand the user, before I dig into any of the data, I want to try and find out who we're going to be targeting here. So I took a look at what they're selling and who they're selling to and made a couple guesses on my own. And I was thinking they were looking to attract users in the 25 to 40 year old age group. Uh, the data actually showed that the largest group of users were in the 25 to 34 year old age group. For As far as males to females, it was interesting to see that 63.9% of the shoppers were males, actually. I was pretty much thinking it was the opposite. Moving on to the key performance indicators. The ones that I was targeting here were sessions and users, users by gender and age, pages per session, and session duration, bounce rate, and goal and conversion rate. So to start analysis of the data, um, when looking at sessions and users, the Data shows that organic search is by far the biggest percentage of users. Although the organic search only had the third highest conversion rate, it did show the second most revenue earned. The direct search was 43.73% 43, 43 of the revenue, and the only other search that was even close to that was the paid search. So by users and gender, there are 63.9% of males that visited the store, opposed to 36.1% of women. Pages per session and session duration. The average page per session is 4.1 pages viewed. In the graphic here, it shows where people were entering and exiting. 32.5% entered and exited from the home page. Those sessions had average pages per session of 1.68. On the flip side of that, session, those that, uh, that made it to the home page and stayed all the way in there until they got to the basket averaged 13.84 pages viewed and a 69.16 conversion rate. So the bounce rate seems pretty high for this site as the data shows it at 45.69%. The bounce rate for organic searches was 53.6%, 06%, and direct searches was 35.83, and paid searches was 32.53. For the goal and conversion rate, I used purchase completed um, the data shows that approximately 17,000 users made it to the cart. 14,300 leave at that point and abandon their cart. That's a pretty interesting statistic. So in developing insights, although we do not have nearly the amount of users to the site for the pay, through the paid searches, you get a higher percentage of those users that convert and purchase items from the store. As we look at the demographics, males are a much higher percentage for users of users for this site than the women. Even though men are a larger group, it looks like women actually spend more on items through the store though. The average page per session is 4.1 pages. There's a very high percentage of users that come to the home page or landing page and bounce right away. This tells me that they must have come to the site by accident or they didn't know what they were clicking on to get there. So here are my recommendations. First of all, looking at how we can prevent users from leaving after they add items to their shopping cart is an important step. One thing we could consider is adding some type of coupon at the shopping cart page so users can save money right before they check out. If users see something to give them one last push to make that purchase, it may increase conversions. Another thing that may help with conversions is ramping up our page searches. Since we get higher conversion percentage from those users, it would make sense to try and get more of those users to visit our site that could start a new campaign and target more women as well. We know women tend to spend more money when they make it to the cart, so why not try and target them via some of these paid searches? Then lastly, they could start a new campaign that would try to increase their social media presence. Currently, social media is not very relevant when it comes to conversions, but follow me on this one. If a targeted campaign were to focus on social media users to try to start a buzz, more people would want to try and get involved to see if it, what it was all about. It may not be a Popeye's chicken sandwich, but it could take off and spark some interest. If Google were to implement some sort of contest, like daily, weekly, or monthly, um, 
that picks out people on social media wearing their Google attire or things that have been purchased from the store. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook could all be used for this. They could have certain times when and randomly select people that were wearing and showing off their Google merchandise, they could win prizes. You could even partner with another company and uh, do some bigger prizes like vacations or certain things like that to really draw people in and uh, get them excited about your product. 